As you all may notice, if anyone's in here yet, we have a new killer standing right in front of us. I may or may not have splurged a bit last night and got two new killers. That being said, I've only played one of the two. Because, <clears throat> yeah. Actually, let me look at the daily rituals I have No, I do not. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so we can go in as survivor or we can go in as a killer. I say we start off with some surviving. Got our blood pumping. And then we jump in as a killer. Now I can say with Claudette or I can get some of these new people here. These are, these four are the newer people that I didn't have to begin with. So we can go as David King, Jeff Johansson, a quiet artist standing steadfast against impossible odds. His personal perks, breakdown, aftercare, and distortion give him observational advantages and help to hide his presence from the killer. Adam Francis, a resourceful teacher, able to adapt to new circumstances and develop strategies accordingly. His personal perks, diversion, deliverance, and autodidact, didact, I'm pretty sure it was actually really Hi, Kagome. Help him to distract the killer, survive desperate situations, and become more skilled as the trial continues. Kate Denson. A hopeful songbird, able to make the most of her surroundings. Her personal perks, dance with me, windows of opportunity, and boil over, grant her the foresight and iciness to escape even the most dire situations. And finally, David King. Yep, I'm still under the game, Kagome. Uh, kind of fucked up my finger a bit, but that's to be expected, right? David King, 
a rug scrapper rewarding high risk play this personal perks we're gonna live forever dead hard and no mither reward an aggressive confrontational play style to leave him vulnerable so I think we should go in as David King because you know my name my actual name we're gonna live forever. A few friends deserve the best protection. Each time you perform a safe hook rescue or take a hit to protect a survivor, gain 25% stackable bonus to all blood point gains up to a maximum of 50%. The bonus blood points are only awarded post trial. Dead hard. You can take a beating when injured, tap into your adrenaline bank and dash forward quickly to avoid damage. Press the active ability button while running to dash forward. During the dash, you avoid damage. It causes the exhausted status effect for 60 seconds. You do not recover from the exhausted status effect while one while while bleh, while running. <clears throat> no mither. You're affected by the broken status effect for the duration of the trial. Your thick blood coagulates practically instantly. You don't leave pools of blood, or into pain caused by injuries are reduced to zero by zero percent at any time. It grants the ability to fully recover from the dying state. Mm -hmm. Well, it's either I'm going in no mither, or we're going in dead hard. And I say no mither. I'm gonna fuck myself over. And, of course we gotta get the nice little rugged look going on David. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Hi Vilkin. We're starting in as the survivor, David King. Now, I know I'm pretty sure quite a few people actually don't like David. Well, at least the, one of the people I follow on here doesn't, because of the way he looks. But it's like, he looks just fine. And besides, the name David, I mean, come on, you can't get better than that. <laughs> Oh, hey, look, we have two Claudettes. Claudette 1. Claudette 2. And then David King. Versus whatever killer is out there staring at us. I think we're gonna work with the blood web a bit. We, of course, gotta get our toolbox. This is not happening. You perform at your best when you are under extreme stress. Great skill check success zones when repairing, healing, and sabotaging get 10% bigger when you are injured. <laughs> nice to know. Nice to know. I, okay, yeah, I just got a new toolbox added to my stuff. And, uh, hope. Hey, Lynn! All the Claudettes in their natural camouflage. <laughs> yeah, we're just waiting for one more survivor. Hope. Uncommon perk. The growing odds of a successful escape fill you with hope and give you wings. As soon as the exit gates are powered, you gain 5% haste status effect for 120 seconds. Buckle up, fuckos. Let's roll. Lost tapes. Nikki. Oh, hey, look, it's Dwight. <laughs> Claudette, Dwight, Claudette, David. You know, I'm going to say this right now. The way I have David looking, that's what I aspire to have in terms of muscle. What'd they bring in? Survivor Pudding. 
But yeah, no, I want those kinds of fucking muscles that David King has, man. Even the fucking beard, like... God damn, he looks fucking good. I don't see why people hate him. Probably because of his no mither thing where it's like, oh yeah, you're instantly hurt throughout the entire game, but you don't leave a blood trail. So, you know, you gotta look at the good of things, you know? Ah, <sighs> the forever loading game. It's always fun, ain't it? Always fucking fun. Oh, so, um, I didn't tell you guys this, but, uh, so, when I first played this game, about three days ago, I think, or so, I played against someone as the Huntress. And thing is, someone on their team was constantly around them getting them off the hook every time I hooked them. So I was like, okay, let me just look around for this person. Meaning I circled the person on the hook at a great rate. This pissed the person off because they thought I was camping them. So they go out of their way to message me being like, camper, weak killer, it's like, okay, I think I just saw the, uh, I think I just saw the killer. I think it's Trapper. But, uh, yeah, no, it's like, that's actually something that kind of pisses me off with a lot of people on here. It's like, oh, you're not playing the playstyle I like? I'm gonna be a bitch and just complain about it. It's like, okay, do that. You're not gonna get anywhere. Just saying. I also have to hold the controller without two of my left fingers. Because one of them's messed up, the other one's just keeping it stable. Please don't let there be hex ruin, because this is actually repairing quite slowly. If there is hex ruin, I'm getting off this damn thing. I got it. David King will live on forever. Come on. I'm surprised the killer didn't find me first because I was in his direct line of sight for a second. Ooh, that's close. I almost fucked that up. They're coming for me. I can already tell. No, they're not. They're actually leaving me alone. They're going to the, the generator that just got popped. Hey, come for this generator, motherfucker. Oh yeah, no, like, you will find a shit ton of salty players in this game. I'm not lying. Because it's like, as we have seen on my stream, people will leave. They will DC right in front of you if they are in a losing state and they know you have a fucking mori. Yeah, I, this has to be the fucking trapper. Come on. Damn it, David, why do you have to be so loud? I would cleanse that. I would. But it's a but it's a dull totem. And there's no telling what that could do to me. Uh, 
Okay, we have one of our guys going over there to rescue them. Yep, it's the trapper. Where is he? Okay. The only one not hurt is co-op fighter. I started off injured, so I have a reason. Some may question why. I say don't question me. Oh, that's my generator I'm hearing up there. I'm just like, did someone start this generator? It doesn't look like it. I think people heavily don't like David for one because of his looks and two because of no method. It's like, why would you want to start off injured? I mean, granted it sucks, but at the same time, if you're looking at the fact being, you don't leave a blood trail. Okay, so that one goes off. This guy's around me somewhere. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, if they want to tunnel me down, I'm an easy target. Help me, Claudette. Claudette, fucking help me. I don't know if Claudette thought she could heal me or what she was trying to do. Oh god, the trapper! We're running. My closet. <laughs> this is the first time I'm ever hiding in a closet, like. We're gonna be calm and slow about this, and we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. This is the last gen. No, but like last night when I was playing this, oh, we had so many fucking hags that just camped. I, and when I mean camp, I don't mean like they did what I did, which was put down the little traps next to them. No, they just sat in front of the person the entire time. It was so annoying. Claudette? Claudette, why'd you leave me? I think she left because I'm grunting. She's just like... I'm not going to be around somebody who's going to be collecting the entire time. He's going to give us away. Come on. I think I've done the majority of the gin. Well, me and someone else are even. Two and two, but I think I'm going to get this one, and I'm going to have three of the gins done. I'm getting that gold medal. Go. We're almost there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Just one last push, David. You can do this. Haha. <laughs> I'm a master of repairs. Oh, <laughs> nice one, Philip. Nice one. She wanted to leave the grunt work to David. Oh, fuck. 
Is he gonna slug us? No, okay. Okay. I'm watching. I just can't get near you right now if he's around you. I think he's gonna camp. I'm not sure. Oh shit. He is! He's fucking camping them! Piece of shit. Oh hey, someone got the door open. Well, one of them's dead. Dead on hook. Where's the fucking door? Where's the exit gate? Come on. No, seriously, where's this fucking exit gate at? It's right here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Bye. <laughs> I live. Oh, I got another achievement. Sorted. The public match spent most of the trial injured more than 50% and lived to tell the story. <laughs> I spent my entire match injured and not once did I get hit. Oh my god, co-op is fucking stacked over here. Okay, so Lightbringer. In most of the generators. Unbroken. Represents the ability to survive escaping a trial. Without being downed results in an iridescent quality. While being downed one or more time results in a gold quality. If you die in a trial, the emblem quality is based on the amount of time you are alive. However, the highest quality you will receive in this manner is silver. Malevolent. Represents... How altruistic you and your team are during a trial. The first two times each survivor is hooked, all survivors whose points safely unhooking them returns the points back to all survivors. An evader. Ah, oh, come on, man. I I had better stuff than anyone. I should have I should have gotten that all the way up, man. You bullshit. Wait, we all escaped! <laughs> Well, all but co-op. Yeah. Well, we did good, guys. Ah, David King for the win. I mean, come on, look at this dude. He looks fucking great. Now we're gonna switch over to Killer. I don't have any daily rituals. And this is one of the new people I bought last night. Say hello to the Legion. Next. No. We have uh, the clown. We have all these people here. All the level ones I have not played. I bought the clown last night. <laughs> and I'm down to 897 blood points. My loadout? Bamboozle. Your vault speed is 5% faster. Performing a vault action calls upon the entity to block the vault location for 8 seconds. 
Cholerophobia. Your presence alone instills great fear. Survivors within your terror radius have a 30% penalty to healing progress speed. Pop goes the weasel. A deep bond with the entity unlocks great strength. After hooking a survivor, the next generator you break is instantly regressed by 25% of its total progress. Normal generator regression applies after the damage is done. Pop Goes the Weasel is active for 40 seconds after the survivor is hooked. Hmm. And then we have Distressing. Your horrifying emanation strikes at a supernaturally long distance. Your terror radius is increased by 22% and 100% more blood points for actions in the deviousness category. Hmm. Oh, which one do I want? I think I'm gonna go, uh... I think I'm gonna go distressing. Let's tell them some jokes, my friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, how fun it will be. I, as I said, I think it takes a lot longer to find a game as a killer than it does as a survivor. Dun, dun, dun. We also have the doctor. Oh, Doc. One's overcharged, the other isn't. What's the difference? I don't see any difference in these two. Dead by Daylight game, waiting five million years for a game to begin. Yep. Project Awakening. Awaken, my children. I'm just going to get all the uh, killers looked at here while I wait. Overwhelming presence. Your presence alone instills great fear. Survivors within your terror radius suffer from inefficiency. Affected survivors' item consumption rates are increased by 80%. Shit, I dropped the gauze. Oh, I didn't get to finish reading the overcharge. You're fueled by your hate for progress. Overcharge a generator by performing the damage generator action. The next survivor interacting with that generator is faced with a tremendously difficult skill check. Failing the skill check results in an additional 3% generator regression. Succeeding the skill check grants no progress but prevents the generator explosion. It's a trap, but a trap one must step in. Monitor and abuse. Meticulous in your approach, terrifying in your application. While in a chase, your terror radius is increased by 8 meters. Otherwise, your terror radius is decreased by 8 meters and your field of view is increased by 3 degrees. Field of view gains do not stack. It's time for your treatment. The doctor. I say... We go overwhelming presence with him. Okay, so next up is... The nurse. Strider. You're, ac you're acutely sensitive to the breathing of your prey. Breathing of survivors in pain is 25% louder, and regular breathing is 0% louder. If you don't stop and catch your breath, she will. Thanatophobia. 
Their courage fades in the face of undeniable mortality. For each injured, dying, or hurt survivor, all survivors receive an action speed penalty of 3% to a maximum of 12%. She plays with us and, reve and revels in our pain. And finally, a nurse is calling. Unlocks potential in one's aura reading ability. The auras of survivors who are healing or being healed are revealed to you when they are within a 20 meter range. Still attached to the fragments of her past life, she's drawn to those in need of help. I think we all know what needs to be added with the nurse. Next, heal Bailey. Enduring. You are resilient to pain. You reduce the duration of pallet stuns by 40%. Lightborn. Unlike other beasts of the fog, you have adapted to light resistance to blind resistance to blindness is increased by 60%. Recovery from blindness is increased by 50%. Oh. Well, we're into a game now. Woo! Uh, let me switch back over to the clown then. Oh. There we are. Let me switch over to the clown. Because there's no telling how long it will take for me to find a, uh, find survivors. But of course I'm ready. What the fuck? Meg! 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 Lori. <laughs> Which Meg will die first? Okay, it looks like, um, Maid Fred is just coming in and out of unready. You're fucking kidding me. You're fucking kidding me. Meg Squad. One of you motherfuckers running up. The clown. I don't have a Mori, so we can't have any finger licking good fun. Okay, so I think uh, drama is gonna be. I think all of them are actually going to be a problem with me because their ping is kind of low. Sealed envelope and chalk pouch. Let us make them laugh. <laughs> Hiya, Georgie. <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. Well, the game has started. And I'm just gonna be standing here for a quick second. Okay. Let's go. Already? <gasps> Grenade out! Where'd you go, Maggie? Jesus Christ, you guys suck. Uh, 
I'm mixing up a new concoction. Get out of here! Meg! Hi, Katie. We're trying to make them all laugh today. <laughs> Mortar out! <laughs> no. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Oh, Georgie! Ah! Oh. <laughs> I thought I saw someone come up here, and then all of a sudden, Meg. God damn this fucking corn! Fuck you and fuck your goddamn corn. <laughs> now you can hide behind the jury. <laughs> Take this for the road. <laughs> that means someone's around here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hiya, Meg. Damn it, Meg! I'm seeing triple. Where'd your friend go? Here? No. Oh, Meg. Yes. Meg. Where she gets you off the hook, Meg. Ooh. You idiots. You are both mine now. One. the other one go? Penny! No. Hi, Amy! Stop your squirm and make it. Where'd 
Where'd your friend go, Meg? You take this for the road. Where'd the other one go, huh? Meg! Oh, my, my, my. Terrible. They seem to have wanted to leave. Hello? Mortar strike out. Meg! Ooh. One of them has stopped bleeding. Oh. Ooh. Hello? Not in that. Oh. Hello, Meg. Led me to my basement. Anyone want to come and get her? Let's go to the carnival. You'll have a lot of laughs. <laughs> No, 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 no. I said we're gonna have a lot of laughs. We can't just have two people laughing at my jokes now, can we? Oh, he must laugh.
Someone's around here. No. Come on. I want to tell you a joke. Oh. You all found it. Where'd you all go? Hello? <laughs> I finally found you, leader of the maze. Leader of the maze. Jokes to show you. Here, you can join your friends. Where's the other one? Hmm. She wouldn't be coming to save you now, would she? Be very stupid. No, she's left you for dead. Hi, Meg. <laughs> oh, she DC'd. Fuck you! Fuck you! I'm a whiny little bitch, can't play the game right way! But who got the last laugh? <laughs> No, the thing is, they gave me a fucking run for my money like that. They should be proud of themselves like shit, man. It's like... No, here's the funny thing. I bet they don't even know this is being live streamed. So it's like, oh yeah, I'll leave without any repercussion. Nah. One... You see that drama 204? L look at your name, drama. Drama, drama. Look at your name right here. You're a scum. You are scum. The clown will kill again. We still have no daily rituals, so we can be whoever we want. I think the doctor needs to come out. Because in Michaela's words, it's time for your aerodynamic therapy. This is going to be quite a shocking round, I would say. <laughs> But yeah, no, I honestly think that when people don't know they're being live streamed and they leave like that, like they think, oh yeah, there's no repercussions. No, there, there's quite a few repercussions. People know you're a bitch now. <laughs> that you play this game to take it too seriously. Me, I'm live streaming it because I fucking love the game. I'm wanting to have some fun. The thing is, as I said, 
like, and I will say this right now, when you start taking a game so seriously that if you start losing, you can't have fun, it's like, dude, it's a fucking game. It's not like you're actually gonna be fucking hooked by a goddamn clown. Stop fucking bitching out! Like, that is the second person on stream who was DC'd on me. First was Dwight yesterday, be as I was spirit, and I went to go... Like, thing is, I slashed him. Like, as he's trying to blind me with a flashlight, I slash him. He starts running away, jumps through a window. I don't follow him through the window, I go right on around. He hides, and then disappears right in front of me. While he's leaving his friend to die on a hook. And I have it clipped. I have it clipped. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Stop taking a game like this so hard like it's a fucking dick. It's meant to be enjoyable. Like, it's meant to challenge you. That's... Ex Literally the entire game, like, the killer has an upper hand in a way because it's like, oh, you have to do five generators. Whereas, as the killer just has to hit you twice and hook you. But there are four of you versus one of the, one of the killer, and you can do whatever you want as long as the killer does not face camp. I'm just saying. <laughs> And now we wait forever again. I should probably put some stuff into the into his blood web since I'm using them. Okay, so I have Overwhelming Presence as the Doctor. Overcharge. Okay, so Deerstalker is the one I, I'm looking at right now. Unlocks potential in one's aura reading ability. Reveals dying survivor's auras when standing within a 20 meter range. Okay. Okay, so as I said, now we can continue on looking at everyone else. Did I ever put anything on Hillbilly? No, I didn't. Um... Tinkerer, when a generator being repaired reaches 85%, you receive a noise notification and your terror radius is increased to 0 meters for 8 seconds. Yay, I don't get any increase! <laughs> but at least I get a noise notification. And finally, Trapper. Unnerving presence? Your presence alone instills great fear. Survivors within your terror radius have a 10% greater chance of triggering skill checks when repairing, healing, or sabotaging. Triggered skill check success zones are reduced by 40%. Brutal strength. Your great strength allows you to shred through each prey's defenses, destroying dropped pallets and generators 10% faster agitation. You get more excited in anticipation of hooking your prey. Increases your movement speed while transporting bodies by 6%. While transporting a body, your terror radius is increased by 12. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so with you, I'm going to put in agitation, of course. There we go. Now I'm going to customize you. Oh my god, look at all the masks this guy has. Shit, man. Iron Chuckles. The Iron Man. Now nah, I'm gonna go uh, Iron Chuckles on this one.
And we're getting the Marked Bolo Machete. Not that I'm actually going to play it since I said I'm going to be playing Bombo. The doctor's in the house. Oh, hey, look, another Meg. Meg, Jake, and a Claudette. Oh, hey, look. Are we going all Megs again? I swear, if this is another complete Meg round, I'm going to flip my shit. Nope. Meg, Jake, and two Claudettes. The doctor will see you now. Oh, and there goes Jake. <laughs> I guess uh, Jake forgot something. I guess he doesn't want to be seen by the doctor today. I guess now we wait. Again. And while we wait. Oh, hey, look, it's Lori. Now Lori wants to go to the doctor. It's time for your checkup. Time for your checkup. The doctor is he. In the name, in the words of the great Michaela Laws, it is time for the aerodynamic therapy. <laughs> now, what would actually be great is if we got the doctor's, um, the doctor's map. I want the doctor's map so bad. Because all that's happened is I've been sent to the same maps over and over. I haven't seen the doctor's map. Oh yes, Kagome, I know I'm perfect for this game. <laughs> but all I've seen are the same maps. The only other map I have been to was last night, and that was Saw's map. And even then, it was only once. Like, I haven't... Well, actually, no, I've been to the cathedral twice. You know, where the plague originated. Been there twice. I'm trying to think. And I've also been to the Meyer Street once when I first played. Okay. It's just been the same maps over and over, though, for the, for the remaining time. Oh, hey, look. A map I was just on. Torment Creek. It is time for your treatment. Someone's got a little mad. I'm just going to keep shocking the ground until I reveal someone. Oh, hello. <laughs> Have you taken your pills? Have you taken your pills? You have a met. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Tough for your arrow type.
The doctor wants to see you now. Do not disobey! Bedgar! There is hook over here for you! <laughs> Scream for me, Lori. Scream for the doctor. There's a hook right here. By the way, I love your movies. What the fuck? Okay. Okay, I guess that works. Um. The doctor wants to see you. Hello, Meg. How wonderful of you to join us. Now, who hasn't been taking them? I think you need treatment. Go into the dungeon of pain. We're gonna get you better treatment down here, Lori. Where are the rest of them? Oh, I just realized they got Meg off the hook. Nani lay shit. God damn, these guys are actually giving me a fucking run.
It's the Claudette I haven't seen yet. Keep screaming for me. <coughs> That's right, Lori. Scream for Dad. for your arrow down here. God, I have to admit, they gave me a goddamn run for my money this time. There's still one. There's still one. Shouldn't have gotten her down while I was there. Now you both pay the price. <laughs> both pay the price. That's the first time I've ever even slugged anyone, so that should tell you how much I value not slugging people. But I had to. She was right there. Where's the other one? I lost the other Claudette, where'd she go? Claudette? No, seriously, where'd the other fucking Claudette go? She disappeared, guys. Claudette! I think I should be looking for the hatch. Wanna show yourself now, Claudette? No, I've actually lost this chick. I can't even find her anymore. I bet you... Oh, 
Oh, there you are. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Oh my fucking god. That shit gave me a run for my money. I thought you'd found the hatch and was waiting. Holy shit, man. Now that. That's a good match. Devout. Malicious. Chaser. And gatekeeper. God, that was fucking hard, man. I think... I think with that... We should be good. Unless you all want to see uh, one more killer match. Want to see one more killer or do you want or do you want to head on to a raid? What shall it be? Killer raid. I say one more kill round as a legion, so you all get to see the terrifying might. And then we raid, and then we will raid. Now we wait years again. Okay, so with the Legion I have Iron Maiden and Discordance. With Iron Maiden, survivors who exit lock or suffer from the exposed status effect for 15 seconds. And I also open lockers 30% faster. But the survivor's location is also revealed for four seconds after they exit. In Discadence 2, anytime two survivors or more are working on the same generator, the generator's aura is highlighted in yellow for 10 seconds. Smart asses get killed. We always see to that. The Legion. This is no place for cowards. The Legion. Hex, Iron Grasp, Mad Grit. There's no getting out of this now. You're too good at it. The Legion. The monstrous Shine. Shrine. Not Shine, but Shrine. Close. The Mile of Cigars. Then you will know that there is no escape. When hanging in the depths, you face the Dark One. Do I have any add ons? Yeah, I have these. A wide gray and red braided rope bracelet. The inspiration FJSJ can be inscription FJSJ can be seen crudely written in bold black ink. Slightly increases killer instincts detection range. A friendly looking bright yellow button used as a sacri as a sarcastic statement. An a survivor with deep wound. While in Feral Frenzy, applies the blindness status effect for 60 seconds. Ooh, wow. I want to use that. Grants 50% bonus blood points into the sacrifice category sacks. And then we're using the gruesome death too. As I said, it's going to take a while to find a new killer match, but it will be oh, so worth it. Now let's continue that uh that movie scene that I had playing in the back here.
Okay. That's the entire thing I wanted y'all to hear. If you haven't seen the movie yet. But now we wait for the fourth. Jake Park. Meg Thomas. Thick as fuck Jane Romero over here. But where's the fourth? Where's our fourth friend, everyone? Where are they? I'm gonna add some stuff to my blood web. Oh, another gruesome death thing. Iron grass. Joey's mixtape, man. Oh, Mia's our fourth. <laughs> Oh, two people are using the gruesome ghetto. Now this should be fun. Death awaits you all. The Legion has come to take what is rightfully theirs. Mm. 
And now, time for the Leecher to hunt. Oh, this is one I haven't been on. This should be fun. Dare you, you punks! How dare you! You make me lose my friend. Come on. Oh, I hear the cries, such lovely sounds. <laughs> Where'd you go? Legion has some fun things for you to do. Yeah. 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 Now hey! Yeah. If your friends think getting you down is the best idea, you should just leave. Except my yeah. gift. Yeah. I thought you yeah. yeah. I guess not. No!
Where are the rest? Meg. Legion has a surprise. do that. Meg. I've seen all but one. Where are they? Very stealthy. Always hiding. Where are you? 
are you? I just want to talk. Hmm. Closets. Make your decision now. I think we did great. And now with that, we shall raid. Let's raid this lovely woman here. Thank you all for stopping by. And until next time. Bye bye.